Jesus rescued me from a certain death. He snatched me from the grasp of my enemy. God gave me conviction of a very serious sin that I was going to commit, to take my own life. I couldn't find help anywhere. I didn't know where to turn to, and all I could think of was, what are you still doing here? No one loves or helps you. Jesus called me. My life has changed drastically. Jesus has completely changed my life, and I know that he can change anyone's. I had been thinking about taking my life for a long time because I couldn't find a solution and I didn't want to be alive. It's hard to remember. I had so many problems with my partner, my family, my finances, my work. And I already had a farewell letter for each member of my family. I didn't want anything else. I didn't care about my daughter, my mother, or brothers. I struggled terribly. I thought about hanging or cutting myself, putting myself in front of a train, throw myself off a bridge. I wanted to do it. I wanted to die without failing. I wanted it to be quick, that no one could help me or save me or rescue me. And then I went online and I thought, everything is online. And I looked for ways to commit suicide. When I was about to turn the computer off, that little bubble appeared in the corner and caught my attention. I don't even know how I saw it. Now I do know how, because Jesus took my little head and said, look there. So I clicked on that bubble and an angel was there. A volunteer from pazcondios.net. She was the one God used to save my life. And we had a conversation, we talked. I have to say that my encounter with God was fascinating. As I prayed, as I gave him my life, as I repented of all my sins, I felt such peace. I had never felt anything like that before. When I felt that peace, that huge sense of relief in the midst of so much suffering, I thank God for the first time in my life. I used to be a person that responded with very bad words when I felt someone was attacking me. I was a vulgar person when I spoke. Today, today I pray for those who speak or treat me badly. In the past, I'd never forgive the people who hurt me. I'd never forgive them. Now, I've forgiven them all, and I pray for them. God has made a great difference in me, and even though I still have issues, I am no longer anxious because everything is in His hands, everything works for good and for His glory. I am no longer the Anna I was before, not at all. The people who know me well have noticed a remarkable change in me. They say, Anna, you are no longer the same. I look up and say, glory to God. I met the people who are now my pastors. I felt like a child who had no parents and was adopted and given everything. I felt cared for and protected. They have supported me tremendously. I feel at home even better. I'm getting baptized because I believe it's time to tell the world that I have decided for myself to serve and follow Christ. What is impossible for men is possible for God.